welcome ladies and gentlemen this is video number 126 and uh, today's lecture is based on the theory of simultaneous equation models uh, earlier I had uh, one video on uh, simultaneous equation models and this is uh, the second video uh, on simultaneous equation models uh, simultaneous equation model is one in which there is a single dependent variable and one or more explanatory variable then the model is called a single equation model on the other hand a system of equations representing a set of relationships among variables are describing the joint de dependence of uh, variables is called simultaneous equation in such models there are more than one equation uh, one of the uh, mutually or jointly dependent or endogenous variables uh, example is let us consider the following demand and supply model the demand function that is QTD is equal to alpha naught plus alpha 1 PT plus alpha 2 YT plus U1T where uh, alpha 1 and alpha 2 are uh, less than 0 uh, and in the supply function QTS is equal to beta naught plus beta 1 PT plus beta 2 ZT plus U2 T where beta 1 and beta 2 are uh, greater than 0 and the equilibrium condition is that quantity demanded is equal to quantity supplied where QTD is quantity demanded and QTS is quantity supplied P is price Y is disposable income and uh, Z is cost of uh, raw materials and T is a uh, uh, time index uh, which is an example of the simultaneous equation model uh, complete complete simultaneous equation model a simultaneous uh, equation model is complete if the total number of equation of endogenous variable is equal to the number of equation example for, for example let us consider the model of income determination in the Keynesian model the consumption function CT is equal to beta naught plus beta 1 YT plus uh, UT and the uh, GNP identity or the national income identity is equal to YT is equal to CT plus IT this is two sector model where C is consumption expenditure Y is uh, income I is investment T is a uh, time index and U is error term here the number of uh, endogenous variables is equal to the number of equations uh, hence this is a complete simultaneous equation model uh, in this model one endogenous variable is CT and one endogenous variable is Y2 and there are two equations so this is a complete uh, in, uh, simultaneous equation model uh, exogenous are predetermined variables the variables having specified values in general is called exogenous variable in simultaneous equation model the predetermined variables uh, that variables whose values are determined outside the model are called exogenous variable it is also known as non stochastic and non uh, uh, it is also known as non stochastic as non random variable and let us consider the following keynesian model of income distribution where consumption function is given by ct is equal to beta naught plus beta 1 yt plus u2 ut and income identity is yt is equal to ct plus it where c is consumption expenditure y is uh, income i is investment t is time and small t is saving and u is stochastic disturbance term and uh, beta naught plus beta 1 are uh, uh, model parameters in the above example c and y are called endogenous variables since they are depending uh, on each other and their values are determined within the simultaneous equation model and uh, i is treated as exogenous variable uh, its value can be determined uh, outside the model uh, different types of endogenous variables endogenous variables are divided into two categories such as current endogenous variables lagged endogenous variables exogenous variables also divided into two categories as a uh, uh, current uh, exogenous variables and lagged exogenous uh, variables what are the different what are, what are the differences between single equation and model and uh, single equation model and simultaneous equation model uh, in this table uh, you have you, you, you see two columns on the left side we have single equation model and on the right hand side we have 
simultaneous equation model. The model of equation uh, representing a single relationship among variables is called a single equation model, whereas the model of equation representing among variables is called simultaneous equation model. In a single equation model, there is only one equation. In a simultaneous equation model, there is more than one equations. Example of the single uh, uh, single equation model is uh, that, uh, that, that of consumption function and an uh, example of simultaneous equation is that of uh, this simultaneous equation model in which there is consumption function and there is uh, income identity. In single equation model, uh, we may use OLS method of estimation. However, in simultaneous equation model, the classical OLS model uh, may not be uh, applied. In single equation model, one can estimate parameters of uh, a single equation. Uh, in, in simultaneous equation model, one may not estimate the parameters for a single equation. Let us define structure, structural model or behavioral model. Uh, structure model is a complete system of equation which describes and represents the structure of the relationship of economic variables and is called a structure, structural model. The endogenous variables are expressed as the function of the other endogenous variables uh, and these variables are predetermined variables and disturbances, the disturbance term. Example is uh, CT is equal to beta naught plus beta 1, YT plus UT and uh, YT is equal to CT plus uh, gamma IT uh, where CT and YT are endogenous variables it is exogenous variable u to is stochastic disturbance term uh, t is time period uh, beta 1 is the coefficient of uh, endogenous variable and uh, gamma is the coefficient of uh, uh, exogenous variable uh, the beta and gamma are known as the structural parameters coefficient define reduced form of a model with example a reduced form of a model. The reduced form model is the is that model in which the endogenous variables are expressed as an explicit function of, of a predetermined variable. In other words, a reduced form equation is the one that expresses an endogenous variable uh, solely in terms of the predetermined variable and the stochastic disturbances. For example, let us consider the Keynesian model of income determination as consumption function where CT is equal to beta naught plus beta 1 YT plus UT and income identity YT is equal to CT plus IT where C is consumption, Y is income, I is investment, T is time, U is error term. Here C and YT are the endogenous variables and IT is an exogenous variable. Now if we put the value of CT into equation number 2 we get yt is equal to beta naught plus beta 1 yt plus ut plus it and y is equal to, and uh, we can simplify this for y yt is equal to beta naught plus 1 minus beta 1 plus it divided by 1 minus beta 1 plus ut divided by 1 minus beta 1 and finally we can write yt is equal to pi naught plus pi 1 it plus uh, wt and where pi naught is equal to beta naught divided by 1 minus beta 1 and uh, p pi 1 is equal to 1 divided by 1 minus beta 1 and wt is equal to ut divided by 1 minus beta 1. So the equation 3 is called the reduced form equation and it ex expresses the endogenous variable exclusively as a function of the endogenous uh, variables i and the stochastic disturbance term wt. Uh, pi naught and uh, pi 1 are the reduced form parameters. Recursive model. A model, a model is also called recursive if its structural equations can be ordered in such a way that the first equation includes only predetermined variables in the right hand side. The second equation contains predetermined variables and the first uh, endogenous variable of the first equation in the right hand side and so on. So these are uh, the this is the example of a recursive model. Uh, an example of a recursive system. One may one way uh, is to postulate the following model of wage and price determination. 
price equation is pt is uh, equal to beta 1 0 plus uh, beta 1 1 wt minus 1 plus beta 1 2 rt plus beta 1 3 mt plus beta 1 4 lt plus u1 t and the wage equation is wt is equal to beta 2 0 plus beta 2 1 unt plus uh, beta 2 2 pt plus u2 t properties OLS can be applied straight away on the each equation to estimate the parameters OLS estimates on the parameters of recursive model is best and unbiased there is no independency among the endogenous variables in recursive model the same time period disturbance in, distur in, in different equations are uncorrelated uh, this is uh, this is the assumption of zero contemporaneous correlation simultaneous equation bias the bias arising from the application of classical least square to n equation belonging to a system of simultaneous relation relations is called simultaneous equation bias because of arising in the one or more explanatory variables are correlated with the disturbance term because the estimates the estimators thus obtained are inconsistent consequences this creates several problems firstly uh, there arises the problem of identification of the parameter of individual relationships and secondly uh, there arises problems of estimation uh, consider the keynesian model and uh, show that yt and ut are uh, uncorrelated the ols estimates of beta 1 is uh, biased and inconsistent solution follows let us consider the keynesian income model the consumption function is given by ct is equal to beta naught plus beta 1 yt plus ut and the income identity is given by yt is equal to ct plus it where c is consumption y is income uh, capital I is investment, uh, smart is time t. So the OLS estimator estimates of beta 1 is biased and uh, inconsistent. Let us consider the Keynesian model. Uh, the consumption function CT is equal to beta naught plus beta 1 yt plus ut, and the income identity is equal to this. Uh, so u is the error term ut follows the following classical linear regression model conditions number one expected value of ut is equal to zero number two expected value of ut square is equal to sigma square that is homostatic variance expected value of ut ut plus j is equal to zero for all j not equal zero and number four covariance of it and ut is equal to expected value of ut it is equal to zero now if we substitute 1 and 2 we get this uh, yt is equal to beta naught plus uh, beta 1 yt plus ut plus it and yt is equal to beta naught divided by 1 minus beta 1 plus i naught divided by 1 minus beta 1 plus ut divided by 1 minus beta 1 Ex therefore expected value of t of uh, yt is equal to beta naught plus beta naught divided by 1 minus beta 1 plus i naught divided by 1 minus uh, beta 1 plus 0 because the expected value of uh, ut is equal to 0 so expected value of yt is equal to this equation number 4 now having 3 and 4 we have yt minus uh, expected value of yt is equal to ut divided by 1 minus beta 1 so the, co the covariance of yt and ut is equal to expected value of yt minus expected value of yt into ut minus expected value of ut and finally we have expected value of ut divided by 1 minus beta 1 into ut is equal to 1 divided by 1 minus beta 1 times expected value of uh, ut square so we have sigma square divided by 1 minus beta 1 and that is not equal to 0 so sigma square is greater than 0 and uh, 0 is less than beta is less than 1 so yt and ut are correlated because the assumption of the classical linear regression model are violated and hence OLS estimators are inconsistent in this situation biased of uh, beta 1 hat uh, beta 1 hat is equal to covariance of ct yt divided by uh, v uh, variance of yt and uh, finally we have uh, summation ct into yt minus y hat divided by summation yt minus y hat whole square minus summation ct yt 
this is a uh, every uh, this is the uh, um, in deviation form and summation yt square and finally we have beta 1 plus summation ut yt divided by summation yt square so the expected value of beta 1 head is equal to beta 1 plus this term so that is not equal to uh, beta 1 so uh, the beta 1 head is the biased estimator of the true population parameter beta 1 uh, and the bias is equal to expected value of beta 1 head minus beta 1 is equal to beta 1 plus expected value of ut yt divided by summation yt square minus beta 1 so expected value of ut yt divided by summation yt square hence beta 1 head is a bias estimator of beta 1 and the amount of bias is equal to expected value of summation ut yt divided by summation yt square inconsistency of beta 1 head an estimator is said to be inconsistent in if its probability limit is equal to its true value taking probability limit in uh, on both sides of equation 6 then we have plim beta 1 hat is equal to plim beta 1 plus plim summation ut yt divided by summation yt square and that is equal to beta 1 plus plim summation ut yt divided by n divided by summation yt square divided by n so we have beta 1 plus covariance of ut uh, yt ut divided by variance of yt so that is equal to beta 1 plus sigma square divided by 1 minus beta 1 divided by sigma square of y since sigma square is greater than 0 and 0 is less than beta is less than 1 therefore uh, plim of beta 1 hat will always be greater than beta 1 and uh, plim of beta 1 hat is not equal to 0 therefore beta 1 hat is an inconsistent estimator OLS estimator is not appropriate in a simultaneous equation models the OLS estimate the OLS estimation method is not appropriate in a simultaneous equation model because one or more explanatory variables are correlated with the stochastic disturbance term in these equations and the estimator thus obtained are inconsistent for this purpose OLS method is not appropriate in a simultaneous equation model ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for uh, watching this model kindly subscribe to the channel research made easy with himi khan and uh, do not forget to click on uh, bell icon so that you can get notification about my other videos that uh, i'll upload very soon thank you and uh, have a good afternoon on uh, saturday uh, 7th of july 2019 thank you